how to add some product reviews into Shopify. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, let's see how we can do this. Welcome guys to Express, my name is Steven. In this tutorial, I'll take a look into how we can add some product reviews. So first of all, I'm here into Shopify and I wanted to make sure that before we can get started, we have an actual product that we can have an actual review. So it's gonna be really important that you choose like there's actually two ways that we can do this. And the very first way is to have the manual and the automatic way. The manual way is that we can go into our online store and do it by ourselves or to choose an actual application that is totally for free. So what I can totally suggest to you is to use an application that has a free plan or you wanted to choose an application that is like free with your actual plan. If you don't have any kind of application, I'm gonna be showing you a new way that we can do this without having to add any kind of applications. We can go into our online store and here I want to locate my actual customized section. So here I can scroll down and you can see that I already have created some actual product reviews down in here. And as you can see, it says absolutely awesome. I love my new product. It is amazing. And this is like too broad. It's like too, too simple to get started here. But I think it's going to be really, really working if you want to have like a product review like uh, right away and you don't have any kind of money to pay for an actual application that needs to be paid off. So what I just did here is to hit in down here, I went into the home page, I went into add section, and of course I added a multi-columned, it's gonna be looking like this. So here into the multi-column, what I just did is to change and add a few images and add my text, so I can choose to customize this as a product reviews. So this is like one very, very simple way to do this, but if you don't want to do it the manual way, I can show you the automatic way. So let's go and select the element that you have created. Let's go for remove section. And now I'm gonna go back and exit, of course. Now here, what I want to do is to look out for the apps. So here into the apps, I'm gonna go into apps and sales channel settings. Let's go for Shopify app store, or you can go directly into apps.shopify.com. And once you're in here, what you want to do is to locate your keywords, what it says reviews. So here into the reviews, I have really, really a lot of apps that I can choose for product reviews, but I can totally suggest you to make sure that this one has a really strong amount of downloads and a high rate here, rate. For example, here, I don't want to use the one that says a free trial of only a few days. I want to have the one that says free plan available or free. So just be a little bit um, conscious about what you choose here because if I choose, let's say for example, free plan available or if I choose the one that says only free, sometimes this one comes with a free uh, demo but you need to pay for for it and uh, later on so what i did is to install the app that says judged that me this one of course has a free plan and it's totally for free forever free so this one comes with an unlimited product photos and reviews review carousel email reviews career reviews and much more so i think it's actually looking great i hit into open app and now it's going to be taking me into the judge.me section. So once I am inside the actual app of the judge.me section, it's going to be looking the review widget, the customized review, importing six review, and discover what else you can do. So uh, what I wanted to do is to choose to get started with an actual review. So I can go into add my widget. And as you can see, where do you want to install the widget on? You want to choose an unpublished theme or a current live theme that you have already been enabled. Let's go into next. Now I have how it's gonna be looking my actual widget. Let's say for example, that I want to add this one. This is something that we have just get started uh, manually. So I wanted to have this one. Hit down here and let's go for the install widgets now. Now. Uh, what you wanted to do here is to first of all import your actual reviews. So I'm gonna go uh, back into my actual website, but first of all, you want to make sure this one says, are you happy with your how everything is gonna look? So I want to leave it like that. I want to go into check the widgets on your store directly. This is my actual store. I'm gonna scroll a little bit down to make sure that I have the customer review tagged in here. So as you can see, it says customer reviews, be the first to write a review, write a review. Really, really awesome part. So I didn't have to do really anything. It was uh, uh, added automatically. And when someone buys a product, you can actually go directly here and choose to review the actual product. So I can go here. I can go into, yes, it looks great. 
and then I have import existing reviews. So this is for if you wanted to or if you have a CSV file and I can choose import reviews so you can import um, your actual reviews from other customers. For example, you can add a template, you can add an advanced template with a CSV file. That totally depends on you and what kind of content you want to add. But what I can tell is just do is to make your actual reviews yourself inside your actual live website. So let's go back here. Let's go into my actual store, the one that says uh, live. Let's go for write a review in our review title. Give your title a review. So let's go for example, awesome. And take a look that sometimes I'm going to enter my name here. Let's go for John and enter my email. So let's go for John at gmail.com for example, and go into submit review. So now that I have review submitted, what we can do is to refresh this page just to make sure that my actual review has been already added. So let's go here. And as you can see, we don't have any review here. That's why we wanted to go back into your actual Shopify. I'm going to reload my page and here into the judge me, I'm going to hit into home. And as you can see, we wanted to go into manage reviews. So this is really important because if you wanted to see your reviews here, you wanted to first of all take a look and approve those inside the actual application. That's the reason why it's it hasn't been shown yet. So I'm going to go back here into Shopify. I want to make sure that I reload this one so I can see all the reviews. So it says awesome. I love my product. I do love the texture of my products. So I want to go into published or you can choose to hide it if you don't want to accept it. So now that this one has been uh, published, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to reload my page and I want to make sure that my review has now been added here. So I have now five rates out of five based on one review collected by and I have the customer review as um, I love my product. So this one looks a little bit more professional and people are starting to actually trust in my website into my products because they are, they are reading real stuff like so what you wanted to do is to add as much customer reviews as you can and you don't want to be afraid to add like bad customer review you want to have like one bad customer review out of nine reviews that are great so you can have like a little bit more trusted inside the actual field of your website so lastly guys i want to go into my human store and here you wanted to just make sure that the questions and answers are being correctly added. So if, let's say that someone asks for a question here. You want to go into actions and you can move this review into the actual uh, questions and answers. That totally depends on what kind of questions are going to be asked, what kind of stuff are going to be uh, published into your store and all that. But this is how we can get started here into the actual product review with an application that was to believe for free. I don't have to pay absolutely for anything. And the best part is that we can uh, choose to upgrade your account or not. In my case, I wanted to leave it like that because I don't want to spend a lot of money here into the request and I want to just use it for marketing stuff later. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So hopefully this was very useful for you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully guys see you next time.